$1 flashback database log file, just a single $1 view sitting inside the database. The question came in, in my $1 flashback database log file view, some of the entries have a type of normal, others have a type of reserved, but the documentation is not particularly helpful. Can you please explain? So I went and looked at the documentation and it looks like this. It says the type has normal, reserved, free, and to delete. And I didn't put it in here, but underneath it, it says normal, these are for normal entries. Reserved are for reserved entries, et cetera, et cetera. So I understand probably I'll get a logger bug of the docs, maybe a little bit more explanation here. So I've done a few diagrams here to help explain hopefully what those four entries mean. What we've got in the box is effectively your allocation, your space allocation for flashback logs and time is moving across to the right. So over time, as flashback logs are required, they'll simply be built, etc. Rather than extending all three time, let's now look at time as it moves throughout the duration of your database. So you do some changes, you generate flashback log one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Now, in terms of efficiency, what the database will do, it doesn't necessarily just allocate a flashback log as the next one is required. It can pre-allocate them. So you might be writing, say, flashback log number three or number four, and it will actively go and build empty flashback logs, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 out into the future, ready for use. And the reason we do that is you know that the creation of a file normally is more expensive than actually just writing to a file. It's the same with reader logs. That's why we have our reader logs. They go around in a cycle. We don't build new reader logs because it's expensive. That's why we have a separate process to write archive logs because it's writing new archive logs. The flashback archiver that does these writes these logs does the same thing. It says, why not pre-allocate some log files? Because in that way, when they come to be needed, we just go start writing an existing file. We don't have to pad it out with information which takes time and hurts performance. The ones that get pre-allocated, that's what a free flashback archive log file is. It's one that hasn't been used, it's free, it's been pre-allocated by the database. For certain customers in high volume environments, we actually encourage them even to use these hidden parameters, which actually lets you choose how much space you want to pre-allocate. Obviously you wouldn't use it, you'd have to get Oracle supports guidance for particular use cases, but normally you wouldn't ever have to do that. But the database itself will pre-allocate some of these files and they're called free. If we move along now to the other scenarios, what I've got here is the orange line there in the vertical the left is what my flashback retention target is. The blocks is how, many, how much space I have for flashback logs and my flashback retention target is far enough back so that I wanna keep all of them. So over time, we'll start building out logs, one through 10, and eventually we'll build number 11 and we wanna keep all those because our flashback retention target is way back in time, even more so than flashback log number one, but we're out of space. We can't do it. We can't actually meet that target. What do we do? We have to delete the oldest one. You know, conceptually, we shift them all down. Obviously, they don't actually move. And then we can build the next flashback log, flashback number 12. This is what we call normal flashback logs. All these ones will be tagged with the status of normal in V$ flashback log file because they're just in normal use. But consider this scenario where my flashback retention target is actually not massively back in the past. I don't have any restore points, so I'm not, I don't have to hang on to my logs for so long. I might just say I want to hold them for 15 minutes, but my log file area could easily hold more. What's going to happen there? Here I've got some flashback logs being built, F1, F2, F6. In this case, F2 to F6 were perhaps free. They were pre-allocated, but now they're all used up. Now when I want to write F7, well, F1 is it's dropped out of my retention target. I no longer need flashback log number one. Rather than write a brand new flashback log, which, as I said, can be costly to build a new file, we will simply repurpose flashback log number one, and it becomes flashback log number seven. These are what we call reserved. So flashback log number one is no longer required. The database sees that flashback six will eventually fill shortly. So we repurpose flashback log number one and make it flashback log number seven. It's reserved and ready for use for the next flashback log to roll into. Now, I want to stress here, it doesn't change the name. It, it'll still look like in your VDLA flashback log file, it'll, look, it'll have the same name as it has when it was called flashback log number one. That's why it's important not just to assume the name in any way represents some sort of chronology. It doesn't. The flashback log is repurposed, but it keeps the same name. So it'll still be called flashback number one, but it's now serving the job of a recent flashback. 
That's what we call a reserved flashback log until it becomes in use and then it would become normal. If in this same scenario, there were even older flashback logs floating around in your system, and they don't need to be repurposed because you've got plenty of, re, you know, you grab number one and it's being repurposed anyway. These ones be called to delete. They're not ever going to be used. They've dropped well past the retention target. The database has decided they're not needed to be repurposed because I've got plenty of like F1 can simply be, be repurposed continuously. They'll be marked as to be deleted. And there we have the four kinds of entries for flashback log file. Overriding all of this is because you can see we are occasionally deleting log files. Sometimes we are repurposing them, the same name, but for a different effectively set of um, changes. You don't want to be messing around with these things in with the OS layer, because if you go delete one, just because it looks like it was the oldest log file, it may well have been the most current log file. So please don't play with them at the OS layer. Thank you.